What's going on everybody? It's SKS. I thought I'd do one of these little live blogs. I'm using my cell phone now because you know it's state of the art. It's what I've got. It's the only thing. Who knows? But I guess this is going to be my little like reference point. I'll also record tomorrow before I go in. But for those of you who didn't know, I'm having surgery on my forehead tomorrow. Um, I've got a cyst that has been there for about five years and it it was it you could feel it but it wasn't a big deal but then here in the past year especially during covid it started getting bigger and bigger and now it's to the point where people when they talk to me or even on like where we've been doing online calls and stuff they've noticed it and they're like oh you got a bump on your head you got a bump on your head you know you got a bump on your head oh did you hit your head did you hit your and it just got really annoying so I'm going to have that removed tomorrow and I'll have a really cool scar up here. So like when I when I do this, I'll have a third line going across. Uh these old man wrinkles are going to show up, but um yeah, I thought this would be my this is the day before the procedure is tomorrow at 11:30 a.m. and I'm supposed to be there about 2 hours, so we'll see how that goes. Uh I'll probably do a pre-video in the parking lot um just to say how I'm feeling about all that. I Stuff like this doesn't bother me. I've had my appendix removed. I've had my tonsils removed. Uh, I getting something cut out of my body like this is going to be hopefully nothing. I'm sure I'll have a headache. I got a my mom's birthday's following this, so I've got to go down and visit them. That's going to be the hard part, is because I'll just have a headache the whole time and be in pain. But other than that, we'll see how it goes. So I'll give you a little pre-surgery video and uh, probably cut to that right about now. All right, so I'm here at the place. I am actually getting ready to walk in. I'm waiting for a text message because right now you're having to wear a mask and all the stuff, COVID procedures. And uh, I'm just letting them text me here so that I can walk up to the door, push the button, and go in and get this thing cut out right here. So um, this ought to be a fun procedure. I'll keep this relatively short. Like I said, this is going to be a little different video. I'm just showcasing how I feel. I'll try to record when I come back out. They said I could be in here up to two hours. So we'll see. Hopefully they take real good care of me. Um, I'm wearing a nice shirt today just so I could uh, blend in with them. But uh, there's a lot of people here right now. I hope I'm not going to stand behind all of them waiting for that. I mean, it is just, there's a lot of elderly people here this morning. So maybe they're just going in and getting their basic skin checks and stuff. That's a lot of what dermatologists make their money on. But, uh, other than that, I don't know. This little kid just walked out. He's got a big bandage on his head, so who knows? Anyway, I guess I will uh, stop this video and answer my text message. And if I don't make it, I'll see you on the other side. A few moments later. Just a little addendum. They're not letting me in just yet. I thought that was my text message, but it was actually just one that said, uh, just so you know, we're being safe by not letting all patients in the building. I'm actually about 20 minutes early. I know for you all that watch the stream know that me being early is crazy. But uh, I know the question is going to be, oh, SKS, are you nervous? And the answer is not really. Uh, I was more nervous when I had my, my appendix started rupturing. And they, uh, you know, I had to have that removed. Um, that was the bigger, obviously, because I remember one time during that, I woke up and my pastor was standing above me. And I was just like, oh, my God. Cause they just kept knocking me out because my they had a wreck on the interstate and they kept delaying my surgery. I went in the hospital ER at like three in the morning and I was supposed to have surgery at six. And I woke up and looked at the clock and it said like 10 30 and they just kept knocking me out, waiting until the uh, uh, operating ward could open up. But as for something like this, the only thing I'm really worried about is I've already got like lines, you know, I got this one, they're, they, they go, they run into each other, but I'll just have another one up here. Uh, where this is, which you can really kind of see it in this lighting. Um, yeah, that's the reason why I decided to get it removed is I've had that bump there for about five years and it wasn't ever a big deal. But then over the past year, it started getting bigger and bigger and protruding out more and uh, people notice it. And that's when I was just like, yeah, I might as well go get it lanced out, which it's, uh, um, yeah, I was talking about how on the other blog, vlog, I bought a video camera. Um, I might have to return that so I can pay for this because <laughs> my insurance is like, yeah, you've not met your deductible yet. So we'll see how that goes. But anyway, there's a lot of guys wearing camo here today. So I might be here. I might be overdressed. I should have wore a, a camo short sleeve shirt so I could go hunting here at the dermatology place. But, um, 
we'll see how this goes. But uh, yeah, I thought I would just add a little bit more to it since I'm still waiting. I've got the mask, it's ready to go. So we'll see, we'll see how this, uh, this, this, this runs out. I mean, I'm just, I, I don't know. I, they said I could be in there up to two hours, like I said, and, uh, we'll see what happens when I get in there. But, um, yeah, let's do this. All right. The procedure is done. It took about 30 minutes and, uh, it was a lipoma and it was under the muscle and it was about the size of a nickel and I did get to see it in the jar they wouldn't let me take a picture of it uh, they're obviously sending it off to see if it has anything attached to it but it was actually in three pieces there was one big piece that was the size of a nickel and then two other little pieces that he had to rip out underneath the muscle um, so pretty much I could keep this bandage on and then I could take that off after 24 hours and then I could shower and all that good stuff um, we'll just have to see they, they said I would have a really bad headache where he had to push on the skull, lots of pressure, there was lots of bleeding. I get good blood flow, that A positive blood coming out, that teacher blood, that A plus, uh, was really flowing. Uh, I wish I could have got some more, you know, uh, pictures and stuff inside, but honestly, I didn't feel anything. Even when he cut, when he was pulling, I could hear it tearing off like the flesh in some cases. But honestly, when I got my... Uh, LASIK done. I smelled the cauterization or when they cut the lens on the eye way more, way more than did on this. But we'll see later. I'm on my way to Walmart. I'm going to buy some extra strength Tylenol and get some food because obviously I'm not going out the rest of the day. So uh, I'll do an update video uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe when this bandage is off and I take a shower, but we'll see. But anyway, I made it. No other side. Uh, we'll see what happens next. I'm sure lots of pain. So it's about midnight after the surgery. I put on this super bright shirt. You can kind of see there's, there's no like discoloration or anything like that. It tingles a little bit, but like, um, nothing like super, super rough or anything like that. I did uh, have one of those like scared moments. I was sitting there and I, I got up and my cousin, he called me and he's like, have you tried to make a mean face? And I was like, a what? And he sent me the emoji and I was like, and I immediately without thinking tried to make that face and it makes your top part of your head like floral. And when I did that, I did have a lot of discomfort, but following that, like I felt something on my head and I went to wipe and I guess where I squeezed the skin up there, it like discharged some liquid. So like it was, it was, you know, obviously blood and like just some swelling fluid and stuff, nothing major and nothing coming out. But like, I was just like, you jerk face. Like, um, uh, but you know, uh, the worst part about tonight I think is going to be, I can't shower and I feel disgusting right now. And I cannot wait till tomorrow so I can shower and feel like a human being again. And, uh, put a different bandage on it. I'll put a band-aid on it, like one of those big band-aids. So I'll look really funny when I go into public, probably wear a hat, cover it up. But yeah, that was, uh, that's been the only thing. Um, I slept most of the day. And uh, other than that, it's, I'm a real man. I just want y'all to know that. And real men can take pain and they can take having things cut out of their body and you know, as Arnold said, it's not a tumor, it's not a tumor, but in this case, it was a tumor, and it's gone now, and hopefully all of it's gone, and we won't have to worry about that, so um, I'll give you all an update tomorrow evening, uh, tomorrow I've got to drive and do some things, so we'll see if it causes anything else, and uh, we'll go from then, peace. What's up again? Here's another update. As you can see, I've got a new bandage on it today. I actually, last night, got to take the bandage off, clean everything up, and uh, clean it with peroxide and all that fun stuff. Um, I may put a picture of what it looked like up. I'm not sure yet. kind of looked pretty, uh, pretty metal, as my cousin called it. Five stitches is how many is on it. But I cleaned it. I took a shower. It didn't burn or anything. I had to put some Vaseline and stuff on it, you know, having a 
chunk took out the size of my fingertip, essentially that nickel size. Um, pretty gruesome, you know, uh, thing up there, but this morning it is just itching like crazy. Like, I don't know if that's, it's healing or if that's everything, all the, all the nerves and muscle, like trying to go back into place, but it is just, it is itching like crazy on me. And you can't scratch it, obviously, because, you know, for one, it's covered up. But, like, I could scratch around it. But, like, as for on it, I can't touch it. And it's just, like, Urgh. so I'm sure later today that I'm going to, you know, clean it again and uh, put some more crap on it and cover it back up. And then, luckily, we were supposed to go into work tomorrow, but that has been moved to virtual because of COVID. So, I guess I kind of lucked out that I don't have to get up and go to work in the morning and uh, I'll get to take care of it the proper way. But uh, yeah, lucked out on that one. But uh, yeah, I'm sure I'll have a couple more update videos. These are just real, not videos, but like clips going in this one video. You know, it's going to be like the the surgery surgery vlog of SKS and all that fun stuff. So we'll see how it goes. But anyways, till the next one. All right, I guess it's time to do another update. It is Tuesday. You can see this big, humongous bandage on my head. I just woke up not too long ago. Um, it's itching. So much itching. Like, I've had some swelling. Like, last night my nose was puffed up, and, and this spot, like, this, this circle here was really puffy. It's still got a little puffiness to it today. And then on the top of my head, it was puffy. But um, other than that, <clears throat> I guess I should feel like very lucky. Um, it could be worse. I mean, you know, I could be in a lot of pain. My head could hurt. I did have to take some extra strength Tylenol at like three in the morning last night. But stitches come out in two days. So everything's had to seal back up. I'm sure everything on the inside, the reason why it's itching is... It's healing. You know, that's what my mom always said. That's probably what a lot of your mothers always said. So let's hope that's what that means. Um, but um, yeah, let's, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that's the good road to recovery. Like I said, I didn't know what this vlog was going to turn into, you know, just updating you all just on this. So if any of you all have to have this procedure, you'll know, but you know, with medical stuff, everybody does stuff differently. I mean, we all know that I'm like super tough. So itching is obviously my weakness. So, um, yeah. And weakness is, uh, also holding the phone steady while I try to record these. I'm sure this is going to be the shakiest vlog in the world. I need to know whenever I get a vlog camera that I need to get one of those uh, lenses that auto focuses. So like shaky hands, McGee, my gorilla hands just don't like hold uh, any camera still <clears throat> or steady. So, but yeah, I mean, other than that, I, I feel practically normal. I've had to take the bandage off. Like tw it, it says once a day, but twice a day I'll do it. I'll take the bandage off and shower. And when I wash my head and my face, you know, the soap will get in that. And I wash it out. So the water hits it and everything. So nothing really, um, changing about that so i keep it clean and then i gotta put a lot of vaseline on it and keep it moist is the key so that it doesn't super scar i mean i'm gonna have a scar but you know other than that it is what it is so um yeah i've been taking pictures i may throw some of those in there and let you all look at it you know, I might do a little section where it's just like, okay, here's the gross part. Skip ahead to this video, Mark, if you don't want to see stitches in somebody's forehead. But YouTube will probably tag it and demonetize me, which I'm not trying to make money off my head. Though it will help. <laughs> all right. I'll give you all an update probably when I get the stitches out or right before I go in to get them out. So this is like perfect lighting and I'm sure it's perfect uh, acoustics here in the uh, bathroom. Yes, I have a... A red bathroom because why not but anyway I thought I would go bandage free you could see the forehead um, tonight uh, this is the last night I go in the morning to get the stitches out so it's been a long week it is driving me crazy so you all can kind of see the exact spot that it was you can kind of see where the the bump 
was where the skin still stretched out a little bit. It may be hard for y'all to see when I make this face. That actually hurts really bad still. But like, yeah, it was a big old chunk that was took out of there. Um, but tomorrow's stitches are gone and I'm sure they'll be like, oh, you need to put this on here and clean it with this and, and put this cream on and hopefully you'll, I'm going to have a scar no matter what, but you know, maybe it'll be a little bit less, but you know, it's kind of metal right now. I mean, you know, I, that's about as good of a look that I can give you all. Um, I don't even know if I'll put a warning up saying, hey, I'm getting ready to show my head with stitches in it. I think it's like one continuous stitch. It looks like five, but I think it's like the continuous stitch or whatnot. So I don't know. I'll find out tomorrow. I go and get them cut off. And then I guess in the parking lot, I'll do one last video and uh, that will be a wrap. And then maybe I'll give my afterthoughts about how it feels to have like this lipoma cut out of my skull it wasn't out of my skull. But anyway, the tissue between your skull and your, your your epidural skin, whatever it's called. Your epidermis is showing. But all that fun stuff. But anyways, one last update. And it will be instant for you. But for me, it'll be tomorrow. Until then. So the stitches are out. And it went... I, I was in there less than two minutes. Uh, the girl... I'll call her red flower tattoo girl on her arm. She uh, pulled them out, and it did hurt when she she snipped on one in, and I guess it was one continuous thing, and she just yanked it out, and that hurt a little bit, and I said, well, I guess this is your way to get back at all men, and she started laughing, and I go, what? And she goes, uh, that's what the doctor tells us, and I was like, well, you know, great minds, I go, that or we just know, we know. And she's like, yeah, you'll have a little line scar, and it'll be like when you get older and wrinkle, and I just went like this, and I already have wrinkles. And I was like, I'm already an old man. I go, it'll blend in with the rest. It's a, it's another hate wrinkle. So I will probably do one last thing to showcase what it looks like without the stitches in. That'll obviously be later. She just said keep it wrapped, keep it out of the sun, and keep doing all the crap that I've been doing to cover it, and we should be done with this. But for now, I'm going to go get ice cream. Lieutenant Dan, ice cream! All right, I guess we've come to this point where the stitches are out, I'm home. You can actually get a good look at it right about there. Um, it's a little shiny because I have to put some stuff on it, but it is healing incredibly well, and it matches my old man lines. I'll just have another one on top there. So, uh, all things considered, the process... I think it was good for the program. I've still got a little bit of swelling like in this area and like right above it, which I'm sure that's that muscle it'd have to kind of go down. I hope it would suck to have a bump after having the bump removed or the lump removed. Um, but yeah, we're a week and a day from when I had the surgery and it already looks like that. Um, I streamed with it last night on it. Obviously you all watch this a lot later, but um, all things considered, People like in my family and my friends who work in the medical field said the dude did a really good job on the surgery and that it looks really good. I mean, like I said, there's other people that have much more major surgeries than this. This is honestly, it technically is a cosmetic surgery, even though that it was a tumor. It's just so happened that it was on my face, you know, and you don't want to go around with that. Honestly, if it was anywhere else. You can go living with that on your body. But with that said, you know, I work in front of a lot of people. I'm, I'm talking about work, not like stream or YouTube or anything like that. Obviously, if like Ninja or somebody like that got something like this, they probably could write it off as a medical, you know, a bigger expense or something. But like for me, it just went into my health insurance and uh, we'll see how uh, Uncle Sam treats that and all that good stuff because uh, I know I wasn't at my deductible and I've already paid to throw this out there with the spots they already did that I had before in this, I've already paid a thousand, you know, just to throw some numbers out there. Um, and that's the only thing I've really spent medical wise this year, um, which is good, but that's a lot at the end of the year, especially when you're trying to save for Christmas and you got three nephews to buy for and, you know, family and stuff. But other than that, I mean, I've spent more on things before. My LASIK was, you know, a lot more, triple that at the time. 
I think that's a lot cheaper now if anybody's thinking about getting LASIK. I highly recommend it. LASIK is like the best thing you can do for yourself to be able to, to see. I, I mean, like even now I'm amazed I could see individual little ripples on the, the d design on the ceiling and stuff. I don't know if you all could see that, but like before I probably couldn't see that. Um, so yeah, but uh, other than that, you know, it's been... I, I I don't know. It's just been a, it's been a trip, but all this done, they say after, you know, a certain age, I won't throw it out there, but some of you have been watching me for a while, know how old I'm getting ready to turn in September. Uh, they say it's a matter of maintenance. I think the maintenance period may have already started, but you know what? I'll take it if my maintenance is like this. I mean, this is, you know, I've been losing weight. I've been getting back in shape. Obviously, I had to stop weightlifting for this because, I mean, even right now when I ooh, when I make certain faces, and I was laughing on stream last night, it hurt. So kind of having to go slow on that. And then, like, the week before that, so I've been two weeks out without weightlifting. Uh, I had the spots removed on my back, and obviously they were right in the middle of the back, so I couldn't lift or anything. And even, like, squats and walking kind of hurt to a degree because they had to cut so deep on some of them. But, um yeah, that's probably way too much information, but, uh, you know, I wanted to kind of give you all a look in the world of me and what's going on. So I've got, I'm going to start doing, like I said, more vlogs. I actually have a camera sitting over here that I had purchased. I've just got to learn how to utilize it and move forward on that. And uh, we'll go from there. But uh, for those of you who've been asking about me and leaving comments on Twitter and stuff, thank you all so much for that. I appreciate it. This will probably be the end of the vlog. I probably put way too much information in it, like I said, but maybe some of you all found the little journey interesting. And if some of you got to go through this someday, you'll realize it's not that bad. If SKS can do it, so can I. So, and that, that goes for a lot of things. But uh, as always, thanks for watching. God bless. Don't forget to make good decisions. And I'll see you all next time. Not everybody.